Dr Jane Goodall walked into the wild forest of Tanzania when she was just 26 years old. When I first came to Gombe to study chimpanzees, I knew nothing about them. Nobody really knew very much about them. A young woman with no science training, her legendary chimpanzee research upended the world's understanding of primates, humans and the difference between us. We have found that after all there isn't a sharp line dividing humans from the rest of the animal kingdom as we find animals doing things that we in our arrogance used to think was just human. I know that they share our emotions, pleasure, joy, sadness. For six decades, Jane has devoted her life to protecting the natural world. We brought climate change on ourselves, loss of biodiversity on ourselves, and the pandemic on ourselves. It's all our fault from our disrespect of nature and animals. Now, having seen the damage done by mountains of discarded fast fashion, she's fronting a new campaign for Aussie brand Booty, showing that even changing our underwear can make a big difference. At 88, Jane's still hard at work and still holding on to hope. I'm about to leave the world and leave it behind me with all the mess, whereas young people have to grow up into it. That's why they need every bit of help they can. If you lose hope, that's the end. Because if you don't hope that there's a way out, if you don't hope that your actions can make a difference, then you sink into apathy and do nothing. So the hope is absolutely crucial if we're to get through this. And Dr. Jane Goodall joins us now. <laughs> first things first, how does bamboo underwear help the environment? Well, because, you know, as everybody knows, we are trashing the environment and it's getting pretty grim what's happening. And Bamboo is something that is very sustainable because it grows really fast and you can cut it down and it grows up. In fact, it grows up double. And it also makes really nice soft material. So it's good for the environment and it's good for our skin and it's good for everybody. Doctor, you have so many amazing achievements. Was there ever a moment when you were in the, in the jungle in Tanzania 60 years ago where you thought to yourself, one day I'm going to be the face of an underwear company? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could answer that yourself, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Dr Goodall, it seems that despite every effort, the world's environment keeps on getting worse. How is it that you remain hopeful? Well, it, it's hope is about action. You know, I see it at the mouth of a long, dark tunnel with a little star at the very end, which is shining, and that's hope. But there's no point sitting at the mouth of the tunnel saying, I hope that star will come. It won't. We've got to roll up our sleeves and fight our way through all the obstacles between us and that star, things like climate change, loss of biodiversity, pandemics, mistreatment of the environment, all those things. And then if we don't give up and we take others with us, and we inspire them and they inspire others, uh, we'll get to the star. But it's action, action, action. Doctor, I think I speak for all of us certainly here, but also all the people watching, uh, when I say thanks for a, a, a lifelong of, of doing such great work for our planet. Uh, when I think of the environment, when I think of two absolute champions of the environment, it's always your name that pops into my head and it's always Sir, D Sir David Attenborough's as well. Please tell me that you both hang out. <laughs> Uh, actually, very, very seldom. Um, you know, he's older than me and he's uh, come out in public as much as he used to. But obviously we've met, obviously we admire each other, at least I admire him. And so well, there we are, two people fighting for the same cause. And is there anything, uh, in such a full life, is there anything that you've still got eyeing off that you still want to do and you're like, oh, that's right, I've got to get to that? Well, there were a lot of things I would have said, yes, uh, even five, six years ago. But when you get to 88, you know, there are things I might have wanted to do, but I know now I couldn't do them, like going to some of the wildest places in Papua New Guinea and finding new species. But those dreams are not realistic anymore, so I don't waste time with them. And I've got so much to do now during this pandemic. I haven't had one day off, one weekend off, no holiday. It's been Zoom, Zoom, Zooms around the world. But the plus side of that is I've reached literally millions more people. 
with a message of let's get together and take action and save the planet and the future before it's too late. That's true. I did two years homeschooling three kids, so I, I reckon I'll be good around the chimpanzees now. <laughs> Dr Jane Goodall, thank you so much for your time and your undies. <laughs> thank you.